Hi friends, it's Ian from More Code Consulting. Today, I wanna to talk about the low wages that are earned by people who work in the front lines of the homelessness response and housing support sector. Without the many dedicated individuals who work on the front lines and shelters and street outreach, food security programs and supportive housing programs, the state of homelessness would be much worse. We owe debt of gratitude to those who work on the front line. But did you know that many, and in some communities most, people working on the front lines are living in poverty themselves? That many do not earn wages much beyond minimum wage? And in the, so many communities, the actual funding for the wages to operate on the front lines come from annual grants, such that a not-for-profit organization may not be able to tell their workforce from one year to the next whether or not they have a job. I happen to think that we could do better. That people who work in the field of poverty response do not have to live in poverty themselves. I'm not saying people go into this sort of work to get rich, but they shouldn't be at risk of losing their housing while they're trying to help someone else get into housing. There is a desire to do better in response to homelessness. I think that's true in most communities, whether that's encampment response, improving shelters, improving street outreach, improving day services, improving supportive housing, there's a desire for better. And nothing against the workforce that's already there, but if we want to attract some of the top tier talent in our communities to work in this particular field, we're going to have to be able to pay more. Mission-driven people are attracted to mission-driven organizations. So it's no wonder that amazing people work on the front lines in the homelessness response and housing stabilization systems. But believing in a mission doesn't pay for your mortgage or rent or your car payment or your insurance, the cost of kids and foods and elderly parents and clothes, etc. And the unfortunate reality is that too many people who work on the front lines of the homelessness response system are living in poverty themselves to the point where not only can they not get wants like vacations, the majority of people are making less than 55,000 a year and almost half of them are at risk of housing instability themselves. Imagine a workforce trying to help people exit homelessness that's constantly under the threat of realizing homelessness themselves. Where your salary comes from a grant that requires an annual submission without a guarantee that there'll still be funding for your job next year. There's no job security in that. We want great outcomes in the homelessness response system. We don't want people living in parks. We want shelters to be awesome. We want people to be food secure. We want people to have safe and appropriate places to stay during the daytime. We're not gonna get that through exclusively underpaying a workforce and relying upon volunteers. If we want better outcomes, we're going to have to be able to attract and retain top tier talent. People who believe in the mission and are compensated sufficiently for realizing outcomes associated with that mission. Our failure to do so as a society will ultimately be our peril. Without investing in the workforce, we'll see more staff turnover, we'll see more unmet needs, and we'll see more homelessness. Thanks for watching.